us. Hi guys. Yesterday we did the sled wars, but the first activity A did not record, so I'm gonna go over it right now so you can watch it. What do your homework? Um, I skipped the prior knowledge questions. You guys should be able to answer those on your own. So the gizmos warm up. It tells me to slide, set the slider, snowman five, um, snowman to five. And make sure the height is at 25, which it is right here. And then click play and see how many it destroys. So we said one and a half. Then we're gonna reset it. Set the red sled mass to 200 kilograms. Click play. And this time it destroys two and a half. Then we're gonna reset it and drag the sled to the top of the hill. And click play. So now he destroys all five snowmen. Why do you think this is so? So we spoke about momentum increases as the velocity increases or as the mass increases. All right, next page. Um, observe with the sled at 50 meters. So we have to reset. Is it 50 meters? Um, the red sled mass should be at 100 meters. There should be no snowmen. Is it 50? So we're gonna. What happens to the sled speed as it moves down the slope? So we're gonna watch the speed down here. So it's increasing as it moves down the slope. And then B, acceleration as a change in speed or direction over time occurs. Um, it accelerates in what two ways does the sled acceleration accelerate as it descends? So there's a change in speed as it accelerates, there's also a change in direction when it comes right here so at the bottom of the sled. Um, or there, there's a change in time also. So click reset at this time. Um, this time we're gonna focus on the speed of the sled after it reaches the bottom of the hill. So we're gonna hit play. And notice what happens as soon as you hit the bottom of the hill, the speed remains constant. So uh, D, does the sled accelerate after reaching the bottom? No, it stays at a constant speed. Or remains, the speed remains the same. All right, so moving on to two, we're going to click reset. Set the red sled mass to 10. Kilograms, click play, and then pause the sled after he reaches the bottom. All right, so we're going to look at the speedometer. The speedometer is saying that we're at 31.30 meters per second. Reset, set the sled mass to 200 kilograms, click play. Pause at the bottom, and again, it's at 31.30 meters per second. So try other sled masses. Does the mass of the sled affect the final speed? So we'll do one more sled mass. We'll try 100, and it is also 31.3. So the mass does not affect the final speed. All right, the number three, explore, click reset. Use the gizmos to measure the sled's final speed when it starts at a height of 10 meters. What I'm red. All right, and at, so we're gonna hit play. All right, the final speed is 14 meters per second and from a height of 40 meters. Hit play. We're at 28 meters per second. Um, does increasing the starting height affect the final speed 
or how does it affect it? Sorry. Yes, it makes it faster. All right, and that's I it. I am back into the